You are now tuned in to Heat Check with Ty Slatter and Antonio Turner right here on GTA Sports Network. Follow GTA Sports Network on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, GTA Sports. And don't forget GTASportsNet.com for all things in the world of sports. Do you feel like Golden State should have kept Jordan Poole? I don't know about that. And let Dre go instead? I think he's probably should let both of them go. That's where I – only because I thought Jordan Clark, or Jordan Poole was basically a, a splash cousin trying to be a splash brother, but wasn't he consistent look, enough. He looked better in the Golden State system than he does as a leader of the team. Yeah, but he wanted to be the leader because he wanted to take 20 shots to 25 shots a game. Oh, speaking of which, I heard a report that Kyle Kuba might be on the move. He should be. Well, they got the worst, the worst tandem offense, two team offense in the league. I think the writing's on the wall. Kuzma was like, oh man, I shouldn't have did this. I gotta go. Yeah. I mean, Jordan Clarkson is just young, immature. Clarkson or Poole? Poole, not Clarkson, Poole, sorry. Poole's just like, you know, he's not a star player, he got star talent. Kuzma being a former Laker, where do you see Kuzma landing if he does leave D.C.? I mean, Kuzma would be a good two or three behind somebody. That's what he was when he won the championship in the bubble. Yeah, I'm saying he'd be a good two two or three, depending on the team. Think Miami should go for him? Miami, I got a team, the Kings. No, no. Get rid of Harrison Barnes. Ah, uh, you ain't right. And he put Kyle Kuzma with De'Aaron Fox and Sabonis. That's some scary shit. Hey, listen. If you That's can get. Good... I'll give you Harrison Barnes and Chris Durante. He can pass around like a Philly blunt. I mean, I'm just trying to figure I'm try, I'm trying to keep <laughs> some of my core here. They're going to ask for Kevin hey, Herter. They're going to ask for Kevin Herter. Uh, y'all moving our team anyway. Y'all don't get the actual whole lot. Ah, you saw that? Oh, yeah, yeah, y'all moving out of D.C., man. Y'all got – y'all got – you have no say so when you uh Y'all moving to Virginia. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. When you're oh, uh man. three and nineteen, you don't get to ask for a whole lot. Oh, they they, they don't they don't they ain't earn the right. They ain't earn the right. Nah, you, it's fire sale. We get to ask for what we want and what we want to give you. You don't get to ask for our best shooter on the team. We keep it harder. You got Harrison Barnes, because he's getting up there in age, and you could trade him again or let him get released. You can take Chris Durante off our hands. Yeah, take Durante off our hands, and we take Kuzma. And it's high contract right now uh, that you're going to pay half of. (laughs) Just saying. Wow. Wow. 3 and 19 and 2 and 20 don't get to ask for what they want. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. Yeah, I'm just saying. I I hear you. I hear you. You hit the hell on the nail there. Oh man. So we, we we both mentioned that Miami would be a good a good place for Kuzma to land. What does Miami need? Does he have that dog though? Does Kuzma have that dog though? Does he? I mean, I think he does, but Jimmy type of dog and what I say a dog and what Jimmy say a dog is two different type of things. You gotta be one to get smacked upside the head by Jimmy, okay? <laughs> in practice, he might just pat you upside the head. I mean, if Kuma tired of losing, he better get the dog. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, he played with Kobe, so I mean, he played with Kobe. Kobe and Jimmy got the same type of mantra. <laughs> yeah, he played with Bron too. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, so I mean, you gotta be willing to take a back seat. Yeah, he definitely can't be the number one option. That ain't gonna happen. No, I mean, he barely number two option. In Miami, I'll probably still take Bam or Hero, and you would be rightfully so. <laughs> now you're the third option, so you really gonna take a, a smack upside the head. <laughs> so, while we got a few minutes to spare on this NBA tip, let's see here. We got the Celtics still at number one in the East. Is it gonna stay that way, or are they gonna fall? Probably stay that way. 
At worst, they're going to not – they're not lower than three. Can the Celtics win a title this year? No. <laughs> I know that hurts you to say that. It's okay, man. It's going to be all right. You look, you look, you look like that hurt you to say that. It did hurt, but I've been off the bandwagon for two years because Jason Tatum has not proven that meltdown he had against Golden State said everything I needed to know. Yeah, exactly. What was that? Two years ago? It was two years ago. Yeah, two years ago in the finals when yep. he was supposed to have, he averaged thirty the whole season and majority of the playoffs. He gets to the finals, finals and forget how to play. What was it twenty? Barely twenty. Ugly twenty. It was exactly 20 off of 25 shots, 30 shots. You don't take that normally. And now what I'm seeing from that 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 blows me. It's looking like Jalen Brown team. Huh? It's looking like JB team. I've been saying that though. But it's funny. Look at it was actually they actually like turn it over to the coach. Because like, Tatum can't Tatum's not the yeah. guy. Y'all try to force it on him. Missoula I know is actually him letting the- Brown take over. When, when, with the thing I got with Tatum, and this is probably the last I'll bring up for this part, but Tatum's issue is he'll score 20 to 30 points and a half, and then he'll only put three more points the rest of the game. Like, he, he don't know when to turn it on and turn it off. It, it's, it's like, why are you cooking so early? It's not consistent. When we need Sorry. you down the stretch, you don't show up. You no, ask the JB to carry the team. Yeah, you need to spread your 30 out consistently. Break it down. 7-7 seven, seven mean, here, 8 there. Yeah. Maybe 12 and a third. Or 25 and a half. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you got yeah. five points in the second half, and y'all barely win or lose. It's not going to work. It's not gonna, yeah. You're not going to beat the Bucks, the Sixers, with that type of offense. No. Not in the playoffs, because it'll get exposed, yeah. as it did. Golden State exposed you. And then you're more likely going to run into Denver at the end of the, the run if you do get to the finals again. Right. If you do, I mean, Denver, Lakers, whoever you want to pick, out of that Dallas, any of those. And they know <laughs> your they know, they know your weakness. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna shut you down. Exactly. All right, Tom. So let them know what you find yet. We're gonna wrap this up and get back to the football. I'll call you back. All right, bet. Instagram tone underscore fresh. I wait. You find me Tom Slater. This has been another episode of GT Heat Check NBA Edition. Follow DJ Sports Network, DJ Heat Check. Like, comment, subscribe, DJ Sports on YouTube. Don't forget to turn the notification bell. Check out DJSports.com. Follow things in World Sports. It's Tyson Lewis, Antonio Turner, and thanks time. Take care.